In this video, we'll talk about revolve in plasticity. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're gonna cover the revolve tool in plasticity. I have a handful of examples to cover, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First, I'm gonna select this closed profile. It's gonna automatically default to using the extrude tool, but before we do anything, I'm gonna select revolve. Revolve needs an axis of revolution. So I'm gonna select the origin and begin to drag out and select Y. Notice that I can rotate this around to various angles and even come up the Z axis, but in this case, what I want is Y. From here, I'm gonna right click to okay the revolution and notice it goes back to extrude and that's simply because this curve is still selected. But what if we wanna revolve this profile about the same axis? Let's go ahead and hide that solid, select this curve, before I do anything, I'm gonna hit D on the keyboard to fill it all, just to add rounded corners everywhere. Next, I'm gonna select Revolve, grab the origin, and drag out along Y. So the first thing that we're gonna notice here is that it's not going to create what we were expecting. You can see that it's beginning to go up the fillet, but as soon as this line becomes vertical, it's going to drop it off of the profile. There are a handful of options that we do wanna talk about here. But in order to use this specific option, we wanna change the topology type to sphere, and we wanna use the thickness values. So once we go to sphere and thickness values, we can begin creating that thick or thin wall body that we are expecting. If we continue to use the torus option, it's going to fill this in. And if we reduce the side, you can see what we're actually creating is a thin wall part, but it is using both ends. So in this case, a sphere option is going to give us the better result. I'm gonna put this all the way back up to 6.28 to connect those two pieces and right click to say okay. The other way that we could do this is by using a closed profile. So that closed profile, we would model or draw the inside and the outside, use revolve again along the same axis, and now we have complete control over the thickness value in the inside and the outside based on what we created with our curves. From here, we could use either the sphere or the torus, but it's not gonna make a difference in this case. We can right click, hide our curve, and now we have this solid body. The solids can then be used for further operations, things like mirrors or arrays, but that is gonna be the basic use case for Revolve. If you have any questions, please let me know, and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.